Today, we are diving into a classic terrifying video game that features a woman wandering alone through eerie environments bent on uncovering the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. And no, I'm not talking about Heather Mason from Silent Hill 3. I'm talking about Nancy Drew. That's right, we are uncovering the unknown horror that is the Nancy Drew series on PC, which is a phrase I never expected I would be saying in 2021, along with, Bean Dad is a milkshake duck. <laughs> Throughout my years of gaming, sometimes I stumble across hidden historical gems, titles and series I may have glossed over, but resurfaced thanks to nostalgia, social media, or simply because the producers behind X-Play talk about them. It's locked. The Nancy Drew PC games are a fascinating collection. Popular during the late 1990s and early 2000s on the PC, I, Adam Sessler, sadly regret not covering the seminal benchmarks of gaming achievement. What's the matter, Adam? Yeah, Adam, aren't you going to read the script? Sounds like someone doesn't ever want to see the outside of the cesspool again. Look, I just... I just don't know if the Nancy Drew games are all that important. Adam, read the script, or the PS5 gets it. Okay, 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 okay. I sadly regret not covering the seminal benchmarks of gaming achievement on X-Play for all to see. If I were to rate them, I would definitely give them a three out of five. Oh, wasn't hard at all. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Oh, <sighs> moving on. There are a lot of PC games from the 90s that have simply been lost to time, particularly the point-and-click adventure genre. Some of them, like Grim Fandango and the Monkey Island series, have received remasters and remakes throughout the new millennium. Most have fallen into obscurity or as Easter eggs in creepy VR realtor tours of order houses, but her interactive's Nancy Drew series kept powering through the 2000s and 2010s, delivering two different Nancy Drew mystery games a year until 2015. Which was coincidentally Vin Diesel's plan for the Fast and the Furious series until The Rock f***ed it all up. These games range from adaptations of classic Simon & Schuster Nancy Drew novels to original ideas crafted by the developers themselves. The premise of each game is fairly similar. Nancy is called in to solve a local mystery, or, while on her travels, she just happens to stumble upon one, like finding an unopened Super Mario 64 cartridge at a Goodwill, and just as realistic. What are you, a cup? From there, the player, as Nancy, is tasked with solving the mystery through exploration, interviewing a cast of curious characters, solving puzzles, and uncovering clues and tools along the way. Additionally, just like the 90s classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Nancy can also phone her friends in each of the games for additional hints on what to do next. Do you think you can help me out? Nancy, be careful. I was afraid that Jake's locker was booby-trapped. Trying to figure out why Nancy Drew is on an open phone line discussing crimes with literal teenagers is part of the charm, I guess. I can almost picture him with a puppy and it's perfect! And I know, some of you are thinking, a game series that's geared towards women with a 10 plus rating, it can't be that scary, right? Hey, I thought the same thing too, but I was wrong. Dead wrong. <laughs> These games are actually terrifying. From their offsetting soundtracks and jarring cutscenes, to their psychologically grim repetitive nature if you somehow cannot get information out of a character, can't find the right item, or solve a puzzle. It's locked. You can easily find yourself going in literal point-and-click circles in these games for hours on end, descending into madness like your Jack Torrance trapped inside your own digital Overlook Hotel that smells like a scholastic book fair. And, oh yeah, there's dying in this series. You can actually die as Nancy Drew in these games, and it's horrifying. No! No! Oh my god! No! This isn't right! This is... This is a kid's game! Okay, producers? Are, are, are you still there? So, these were the games that young women played back in the 90s. And, and you're all okay, right? 
Oh yeah. Definitely. It's like basically the gateway drug for Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Yeah, you can easely go from Barbie Detective Agency to solving the Black Dahlia murders in L.A. Noir. Yeah, I started crafting plays in American Girl Premiere, and now I craft Glory Kills and Doom. She, she's terrifying. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Well, you know, you'll learn something new every day. Or rather, you would have learned that had you lived. But yes, viewers, your eyes did not deceive you. That was Nancy Drew literally dying in a boat explosion because you didn't start the engine correctly. And don't think the developers weren't aware that the brain has plenty of oxygen to experience the pain of burning to death, even in the center of a fireball. Along with these gruesome death sequences, you are also dealing with a cavalcade of characters that, oh yeah, are trying to stop Nancy from solving the mystery by any means necessary. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. Hell, the first game focuses on high schoolers trying to handle blackmail, illegal drug use, and a gun. Yes, a gun. At the end of the game, Nancy has to pull a gun on a grown man in order to solve the mystery. And despite the unknowing terror of these titles, the Nancy Drew game franchise has won over 30 consecutive Parents' Choice Awards and has sold more games than Harry Potter, Myst, and Tomb Raider. You pull a gun on a grown man in a parking lot because you're the hero. Kids don't do that at home, or at least don't do it to me. Over the last 20 years, this series has amassed a following and fan base that are still going strong. There are even Twitch and YouTube streamers that are keeping these games alive by playing them. Now, the series itself? Huh, now, that's a bit of a different story. Within the last 10 years, her Interactive has gone through a series of CEO changes, layoffs, including recasting Nancy's voice actress, Lonnie Manella, financial changes, and delays, specifically on the latest game in the series, Midnight in Salem. Midnight in Salem was a title that was originally supposed to be released in 2015, but due to the internal troubles mentioned, it received countless delays until it finally launched in 2019. And you thought Cyberpunk's delay schedule was bad. This latest installment was fairly panned by the Nancy Drew fanbase. While some saw it as a shaky but could be worse next step in the evolution of the series, many saw it as the death sentence for the teen sleuth PC career. We're going down in a blaze of glory. Two minutes. Two minutes. The body can still feel pain for two minutes after the explosion before the nerve endings are destroyed. Oh. So fans have been left wondering if Nancy Drew will see another mystery, and if the next game will finally go into proper detail about what happens when a body decomposes. And while the list of Nancy Drew games Wikipedia page has listed Untitled 34 game, PC, Mac, TVA, from my own personal experience, you can't trust everything you read on the internet. Hopefully this series continues to evolve and can bring Nancy Drew fully to the 21st century. Dear Ned, I hope you're doing well. I'm taking a bite out of the Big Apple this spring break, and it tastes great. I am enjoying the stunning sights, delicious pizza, and Bess was right about the pervasive smell of urine. It's everywhere. A body turned up in the Hudson Bay, and you know me, I've been on the case. The NYPD wasn't happy that I kept butting into an active investigation, but they let me do pretty much whatever I want to do because I'm an affluent white woman. I slipped a hit of Molly to the morgue assistant to help me with my hunch about the items found slammed into the victim's nasal cavity. Nothing says vacation like premeditated murder. I'll be sure to send you a postcard from the Empire State Building. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. All in all, the Nancy Drew series will forever remain a unique chapter in PC gaming history. There are real puzzle games with actual challenges for young gamers 10 and up. And just why were these games so scary? Because they respected their players' intelligence. Nancy Drew didn't go easy on you. It's locked. The games constantly emphasize that choices have consequences, and being a teen sleuth doesn't suddenly make things carefree. The real world can be a scary and frightening place filled with unsavory characters and the unexplained. But keep your chin up, and even you can overcome the challenging obstacles that may come your way. Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Jesus. Ah, so you really played these games as kids? Well, that goes to show you, you cannot judge a game by its target demographic.
All right, you made it to the end. So you've learned that these Nancy Drew games are kind of really messed up. Uh, I would love to hear from you about it, especially uh, if you've played the Nancy Drew games. I want to know what you think. And if you haven't, like I haven't, I would like to know what you think. So let us know down there in the comments below. If this video inspired you, then check out Gerard talking about the Hideo Kojima horror game that we never got and me talking about the get good attitude in games and why I can't stand it. Thank you. And don't explode a boat. It's locked.